Okay, welcome to the week of January 19th, 2015. <clears throat> a bold new moon is zero degrees Aries, and as the sun enters into Aquarius and our pesky little friend Mercury stations retrograde just in midweek. With all of that, we have our hands full trying to make things work. Aquarians will enjoy their time in the sun as this season brings us to that particular type of, of energy. When we speak of Aquarius, we think of large global topics. These are topics that affect the greater collective of humanity and the planet in general. What is interesting about Aquarius is that people born under this sign tend to gravitate towards large topics. They're not self-centered or self-absorbed, and the Aquarians are generally speaking, seeking, speaking aim for the focus on an issues that serve the multitude. Two of the best historical examples are Abraham Lincoln and Franklin Roosevelt. Both of these men trained their vision on serving and repairing matters for large bodies of people. Whether working to secure the Union, as in Lincoln's case, or championing the downtrodden, as in Roosevelt's case, both of these men put aside personal drives for the greater good of all. Very typical Aquarian kind of concept. We can't expect all Aquarians to respond with the same fervor, but if you know an Aquarian, you might see hints of this type of interest in their behavior. They're not, they're outwardly focused as opposed to being in, inwardly. Most of you heard talk about Mercury retrograde since his reputation precedes him. Having spent millennia living up to his reputation, Mercury is a, no stranger to wreaking havoc. While this may not be always the case, more often than not, we see retrograding Mercury associated with broken electronics, back up your hard drive, communication mishaps, and other dialogue-related mix-ups. While this is not always the case, it does seem to happen quite frequently. We may all remember the swearing in of President Barack Obama during the Mercury retrograde at his inauguration. The swearing in had to be redone Re, with the proper protocols in place to ensure it was done properly. This was a classic case of Mercury retrograde. Many have asked why would such an important event happen under such an auspicious influence? The answer is simply that large organizations don't recognize this as a significant operation. But time and again, we see major mix up of this caliber happening anytime this planet is in reverse motion. Reverse motion does not imply that the planet is actually going backwards. Rather, it, defies, it defines what appears to be reverse motion as viewed from the Earth. With all that in mind, a Mercury retrograde is also an excellent time to do anything that has the word re-prefix attached to it. I said this many times before. Reconsider, revise, refinance, review, and so on. When taken in that context, this pattern can prove to be quite useful. It is simply how we approach the influence and use it for our own best interest that best serves us. Listen each week to Turning of the Wheel podcast on iTunes now. I'm a great guest, great information, topics you can use. I'm soon going to be on two new networks. One that's going to be broadcasting on Sunday evening called Late Night in the Midlands, and one that's going to be broadcasting on Thursday evening called the Hazy Network. You can contact me at 978-393-1036, my website, turningofthewheel.com is always there. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Uh, and uh, I also have a television show, TV. So you can definitely find me. The best thing to do is to keep up with me is on my newsletter, which you can get to from my website, www.turningofthewheel.com, and uh, see what's in store. We've got an exciting year ahead, and uh, I look forward to helping you through it all. Thanks, and I'll talk to you all next week.